Hi guys and welcome to finally an apartment tour of my Japanese apartment. I I think I have been waiting for this moment for so long to feel like I can share it with you guys. A little backstory, we have been living in this apartment for about almost a year now. Initially when we moved here, I had a completely different idea of how I wanted to kind of style this apartment. Brighter and whiter, more like monotone kind of vibe but then a few months in this place is pretty huge but also i just realized that it's not really my character or even ami to have such a at least like everything to just be all white and that we love color we love warmth we love wood and we love textures Behind me is our counter kitchen, which I think honestly is one of the things that definitely sold us to rent this apartment because we love cooking and compared to our previous kitchen, we just wanted something that would be bigger, have a bit more counter space and also, I don't know, I've just always been in love with the idea of having a counter kitchen where we can have breakfast, lunch or any meal. This kitchen has been used so much, not just for us but when we have friends over. It's just been a really, really nice experience having an open plan kitchen. We also went with these chairs. Actually, they're a little bit too tall for the counter, so a little bit higher when we eat, but it's fine, it does the job. Um, we really love the color, brings a lot of warmth. In this little corner here, I just did like a little alcohol bar situation. I just thought it's really cute to have that for when we do have guests over. Here's a little fruit, little bowl. I love this gorgeous plate. We actually got it gifted by our friends when we signed our partnership. This is actually supposed to be a cake stand, but I don't know, I've just used it as a fruit bowl. Over there, we just have a lot of our spices, our granola that I make every week. We basically have the same furniture, not really much has changed. So like a lot of the kitchen stuff is actually still the same. Opposite our hallway door and opposite our kitchen. Over here we have this closet, which is a lifesaver. Here we keep all our winter jackets and our suitcases, all our equipment for filming. What else? This is a little tote bag situation. Up there we just have like extra futon when we have guests over to sleep. So right opposite our kitchen we have the cat tower. We searched a lot for this particular cat tower. We do have this little fluffy thing right now though. And actually here is a little heat pad. This is our couch where I did the intro. Our couch, we initially bought it when everything was kind of all white, so we wanted to get a gray one. As time went on, we changed the carpet to a more like warm tone color to kind of give more life back in to, to the apartment and to kind of like match everything. I added these really nice fluffy velvety cushion covers. I love this little blanket that we bought. I think it was also off Amazon. These are from Ikea. And then we have this center table. If you don't remember this, I found this center table outside my old apartment and someone was throwing it away and I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous and that is why I decided to take it. This little centerpiece that I keep in the middle of the coffee table has this gorgeous little snake plant, my three chakra candles that I get from iHerb, and then I have a few coasters and just another random candle. Facing opposite the couch is where people would call it maybe an entertainment stand. It's actually just drawers from Ikea and that's where we put our projector, our PS4, or our games, our sound system. We just use the projector, turn everything off, close the curtain and it just creates a really nice cozy cozy vibe. This side is what we call 
the office and home studio side. On this side, this is actually my side. Excuse this kind of like little mess situation. It just got really cold, especially in the night. So there's actually a heater. It's an electric stove. Today's a miracle. Today's a sunny, warmish day. This is my tiny, tiny, tiny little desk area. I actually also found that table outside my apartment. Someone was giving it away. I know, does anyone else do that? I feel like it's so normal to do that in Europe like people throw stuff out they even like leave notes like hey if you want it take it and it's my cute little little area this chair here is from Ikea this shelf we used to have this shelf in our old apartment as well it just carries the same thing kind of books DVDs it used to be in our entrance now it's part of my little office side on this side is Ami side but it is also our joint studio so if you've listened to any of our songs I will link in the description below this is actually where we record all our songs our microphone our speakers this is where the magic happens this is literally where the magic happens for all of our art also I love this little light situation here where we have the light on honestly the view is probably another thing that really sold us about this apartment because we've at least I I have never lived in a place where I could see the whole of the city which is so mesmerizing during the day and even during the night this whole view looks over to Yokohama. So we live in the Yokohama area and over there is downtown Yokohama. And honestly, it just, it feels so nice just to like be distant, but also be so close to the city center. Also, if we look that way, we actually have the view of Mount Fuji. <laughs> The bedroom. When I saw the floor plan of this house, we already knew that it had tatami and I have never had a tatami room for myself in all this time that I lived in Japan because I've always been a little bit fearful of tatami because it's so delicate and you need to take care of it properly. So for the longest of times, I always try to avoid tatami even though I find it the most beautiful thing. This is our bedroom. And so our bed is the same bed that we had in the previous apartment. What? Are you waking up for your nap? Did I disturb you? Do you mind if mommy just does a little tour right now? I believe this is a queen size bed. We already had it from our previous apartment. Bed sheets are just white bed sheets and we have a lot of these blankies on top because I get really cold, especially in the winter and the cold days. We have a lot of pillows. One thing I told Ami that I really wanted in this particular apartment is a lot, a lot of pillows. Overall, this, the bedroom has a different vibe to the rest of the house. Kinda, kinda, I mean, it's still quite warm. But the theme of this bedroom is zen and relaxation. Also, another thing that I really fell in love with was the... I love the shoji doors. I've never had, like, shoji windows ever. Again, I just really love how this bedroom looks quite traditional. I love the ceiling, how it's just wooden. I love the tatami. Honestly, for our bathroom, I wasn't really going to show it. But whilst we're here, this is my bathroom. It does have these cupboards that are actually quite low, so I do need to be careful. You can't really see it much, but yeah, this is the overview. I mean, it's very, very messy. This is my vanity makeup area. Our washer dryer, the little cute window that we have. It is a little bit <laughs> cluttered. And then in here we have just your regular wet bath. I actually really love our little bathroom area because it is just very cute and petite. Got a little window thing situation. So lastly, I wasn't really gonna show the entrance because it's really messy and this is where we keep all our boxes and all our, like if the trash needs to be taken out because we need to be careful because we have cats. But we have here the little kind of hallway and just a couple of like silly paintings of mine, our perfumes. Here we have 
some shoes. And then we also have a few shoes here too. Just feeling very blessed, very lucky, very grateful that we have been able to experience this beautiful, gorgeous apartment whilst living in Japan. I have lived in Japan for a long time and this is by far one of my favorites and my, I don't know, I just, it really feels like home. So yeah, that's our apartment tour. I hope you liked seeing this video, hope you get Maybe some sort of inspiration, I don't know. And I will see you guys in a future video. Bye!